This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Well, Aaron, it's November 22nd, and Jim Cracker Promotions puts on a matinee show at the War Memorial Arena in Johnstown, PA, not too far down the road from where I'm at, in front of an audience of 2,000. You and Tully both had singles matches for this one, Aaron, as you beat Robert Gibson at the 10-minute and 30-second mark when you cheated. Yes, sir. That's right. I said cheated by using the ropes for added leverage. Tully defeated Ricky Morton in his match in the exact same way, and according to the lineup, these were consecutive matches. So, Arn, why would the same exact finish be used against each member of the rock and roll? To be sure, this would not have been by design, or would it be by design? Uh, maybe the idea was that if we got away with one, they weren't looking for the second one. There you go. What do you think? I think, too, your heels, and that's what you were supposed to do. You were supposed to be cheating. You were supposed to be winning that way and to show you're consistent in your approach as a team with how you both uh, showed up and delivered the endings to those matches. So I like it. I'm buying it. I'm all in on the finish. You answered your own question. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> I, we're working together quite a few weeks here, well, so I'm seeing how this works. You're getting in my head, and you're, you're living in there a little bit. And I think you kind of like it. I'm liking it. I like it a lot. Yeah, You're it's digging it. <laughs> I'm digging it, man. Uh, well, Jim Cracker Promotions would then travel on to Greenville the next day, November 23rd. And, Arn, you were not on the card, but Tully Rick and J.J. took on the Road Warriors and Paul Ellering in a six-man tag team event. And uh, the following day in Hillsville, Virginia. Hillsville, Virginia. There's a town I've never really heard of before. Arn Anderson and Barry Windham wrestled for the Western States Heritage Championship. Unfortunately, this was in front of a crowd of only 800. Maybe that's why I haven't heard of it. Wyndham earned the victory at about the 15-minute mark. Any memories of Hillsville, Virginia, Arn? Straight up 77, north of Charlotte, about 100 miles. So it's a very small little town. That's what I figured. Uh, if it was 800 people, it was probably everybody in town. <laughs> The whole town came to the show that Everybody night. Everybody was there, and <laughs> it literally was such an easy drive, 100 miles up, 100 miles back. Oh, you can't beat that. The upside was not not so much the payoff, but the fact is you got back home at a decent hour. That had been a drive out of Charlotte. And you'll take those every once in a while for sure. Occasionally. Yeah, you can blend those in. That's sure. right. That's right. Well, Arn, the good news is the next day you debut at the Nassau Coliseum in front of a crowd of 11,500. So we're way down the road from Hillsville. Now we're at the Nassau Coliseum, and it's a big turnout. For the past three or four weeks, a JCP heavily advertised and marketed the event as War Games 4. And as we both know in this era, you can't have the War Games without the horsemen, or in, this case of this, or in the case of this match, it's half of them. So check this out, and you may remember this very well. In the semi-main event, the Road Warriors defeated Luger and Flair by DQ, but as we mentioned, this event featured the War Games. Well, instead of delivering all the horsemen as teased in the numerous segments on television, this War Games featured Arn and Tully teaming with the Midnight Express and Big Bubba. That's a whole lot of talent, my friend. And your opponents that night? NWA champion Ronnie Garvin, Dusty Rhodes, Barry Windham, and the Rock and Roll Express. And the win came when Bobby Eaton submitted to the figure four put on by Dusty. How about that? You remember that any of that match at all or, or that unique pairing for you in War Games 4? I cannot believe that I don't remember. Yeah. Well, no, that's uh, that's what we're here. We're here. We're, I'll help you relive, relive these memories if I can get the words out. It, it was loaded with talent. You got the Midnight's. Oh, and they're yeah. as capable as anyone, but sure. could you, I mean, my goodness, we also know Big Bubba would go on the main event with Hogan all around the country the following year. So lots of talent, but why deviate from the formula of having the horsemen on one side so that the baby faces could get all of them their comeuppance? I wish I knew. Yeah. I wish I knew the thought process. And you're saying it was advertised otherwise? 
It was advertised as War Games 4, and every video clip that they show in the advertisements was all the old, you know, was War Games 1, 2, and 3, which were the horsemen all together. So it had just led you to believe you're getting another horseman versus the baby faces, and that's just not what it turned out to be at this event. So Cause that feels like a bait and switch. Yeah, if, it does. If you were implying it was the horsemen. Right. Um, God, I wish I had the answer because that – that one defies, especially it was a debut show in the market. Yeah, debut, big time, 11500 at the Nassau Coliseum. You don't want to not give them what's advertised. So. Yeah, but still, you had a lot of talent, like I said, and you agreed. Lots of talent in that one, but definitely a very interesting War Games 4 there. But are we are finally here. Jim Crockett has arrived in Chicago. It's Thanksgiving. It's Starcade 1987. There's 8,000 fans at the UIC Pavilion. And naturally, aren't all the horsemen are featured on the card. Luger and Dusty battled for the U.S. title in a steel cage match. And Flair challenged Ronnie Garvin for the big gold belt, also in the cage. Third from the top, we have the matchup we've all been building to for the past month. It's Arn and Tully versus the Road Warriors for the NWA World Tag Team Championships. Even though you're the champions, you are out first. Seemingly, this allows for the Chicago fans to welcome their Road Warriors. This pop is massive, as expected, Arn, and you've told us on multiple occasions that there was nothing like it when you were standing in the ring. The term Road Warrior pop was real. It was a very real thing. When that music is so good, Iron Man, obviously. Oh, perfect it, for them. When it hit and they came through that curtain with that paint and the shoulder pads and big as a house, power walking down that aisle, it was it was an event. It was it, badass, man. Yeah, it really was. I don't know anything that was any more badass. And that's oh. the perfect explanation. <laughs> And, uh, man, they came through those ropes, and we had no problem scattering. You know, the the it was just one of those things that you just have to – the more violent and the bigger the sports city, the more the pop. You know, it was just like they got it in Chicago. They got it. Yeah, here they are in their hometown. So it's 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 electric. And so we're gonna we're gonna get into this match. So in this one, there's very little feeling out process. You guys get to the action quickly, and of course you're starting the match. And inside the first minute, you climb the top rope. You, you hear what I'm saying, Arn? You climb the top rope. Nothing good comes from Arn Anderson, we've learned on this show, climbing that top rope, right? Yeah, I mean, it's 50% at least something bad's going to happen. Well, and it did because Hulk military pressed you out of the corner. Arn, you're a full-grown man, and he pressed you as if you weighed nothing. Were you ever concerned about just how strong the Warriors were, meaning that they might mistakenly hurt you? Oh, if they hurt me, it wouldn't have been a mistake. <laughs> and, yes, I was concerned every time they came down the aisle and I was in the ring. Um, big, strong. Like I said, when when he pressed me, I would have probably been about two fifty five then, and it was, if I remember correctly, it was not a lot of effort put into it. Isn't it something? Another grown ass man just lifting you up, and I mean, you're just staring straight down as this guy just has you over his head. That's got to be like, wow, this is this is intense. This is crazy. Well, it, it reinforced what I already knew: don't go up top. So it's my own fault. <laughs> well, the match continued with the Warriors using using power moves on you and Tully for the next several exchanges. The crowd popped at every spot. Finally, about mid match, you and Tully gained the upper hand when you clipped Hawk's knee. Well, he had Tully above his head in the military press. You and Tully worked Hawk's knee over, and at one point, Tully hit Hawk in the knee with a chair. In and out tags and double teams as you guys build the heat on Hawk uh, and you help you keep the advantage. There's a, a subtle uh, spot here, but you cut Hawk off. Tully would lock in the figure four leg lock. Hawk refuses to quit, so you tag in and attempt a couple of pinfalls, but you're crotched on the third attempt. Hawk, uh, Hawk would make uh, the hot tag to Animal, and as the action picked up, Blanchard runs into referee Tommy Young, knocks him out of the ring. Here we go, Arn. Then Animal dumps you over the top rope. Earl Hebner comes out. 
you roll in, get hit with the doomsday device, and the road warriors win. Not so fast, my friends. Earl Hebner made the count, but Tommy Young reversed the decision because he saw Animal dump you over the top rope. We got this dusty finish, baby. The Road Warriors leave with the titles, and the crowd that was so hot for Hawk and Animal show their displeasure with booze and even chance of bullshit, Arn. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.